Hello and welcome to another week of chess openings as I go through all the main variations for all the main openings for a beginner starting with the game of chess. We're going to continue learning the Alakine's defense, Alyakin's defense, whatever you want to call it. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the four pawn attack. It's a very scary looking opening when you're playing it as black and you might not know what to do at first. And this video will hopefully guide you on how best to combat this scary attack. So to start off, as we all have with all our Alakine videos, is how to do the Alakine defense. It starts with an E4 pawn opening from white we go knight to f6 they chase the knight on e5 we move the knight over here to d5 white will then move its pawn over here to d4 and we bring the pawn to d6 attacking the e5 pawn now where the four pawn attack comes in is when white goes to c6 attacking the knight very similar to the exchange variation we go back to b6 and instead of exchanging white adds another attacker by going to f4 now looking at this it's a very scary attack you can't necessarily take over here on c4 because the bishop's barreling down right on it and it looks like white is really taking the center and has lots of lines of development that is going to make it hard for you to develop yourself. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to get yourself in a world of trouble. So the best thing for black to do in this situation is to take on D5. White should take from F4 and we will want to kick out our knight over here to C6. And this is where we get the most attacking lines from this theory. We can't obviously take here or here because of the two defenders of the uh, because of the two defenders of the pawn. So what white will usually do is they'll start developing their pieces and add further development defense for the pawn structure. By moving the bishop over here to e3, we'll, we'll develop our bishop to f5. They'll bring out the knight over here to c3. We will then open up our bishop line by moving our pawn over here to e6, fortifying this bishop as well. If they try to push here, we will want to move the knight over here instead of trying to take and trade with the pawn, with the queen, with the knight, whatever it is, we don't want to trade at this point. By kicking the knight out here, then this knight is protected and it looks like the white center is collapsing. Because in the next moves, at this point, we can take because if we take here and they take back, we can then have two knights to attack the center where and a queen where they only have the knight and a queen. So we'll win the center eventually. And so this is the best way of handling the four pawn attack right away. So in this variation, black actually has a two point advantage and is looking really good. We have the knight orc here to attack the king and the rook, which is defended by the bishop. It's going to be really hard for white to stop. Quick, before we do anything else, Please drop a like on the video below. It really helps me with the algorithm. Please don't like this. So the second line is the most theoretical line probably of the whole Alakine defense. So we start off with the four pawn attack. We'll attack, we'll exchange. We'll bring the knight up. They'll develop their bishop to e3. We'll develop the f5. They'll develop to c3 on there with their knight. And we will push up to e6, opening that bishop line. White will further develop by getting that knight out to f3. And we'll develop our bishop to b7, opening up castling opportunities if we want to take it. White can then push up, attacking the knight. And by doing that, we kick our knight up here to b4, like in the other variation. White has two strong central pawns that are defended by these knights, which is a problem. White will then develop its knight to d4, attacking this bishop on f5. So what we'll need to do is retreat the bishop. White then will develop its queen trying to attack. And it looks like at this point, black's in a really cramped position. There's not a lot of moves that it can make. If it goes here, we just trade off knights. While yes, we have a lot of defense lines with this these bishops, they're not super active. Our queen is stuck. Our king needs to castle. It's in a lot of danger. The best move for black in this position is pushing the pawn to c5. Only good move for black in this position. White can en passant by going to c6. We take with the bishop and now we're attacking the queen, which uh, forces white to trade off the knight. And from here, we are about even. White has a very slight advantage and it's the best way to equalize for black. So those are two different lines that you can take when seeing the four pawn attack. It's just to make sure that you get your knights active, attack the pawn structure as quick as possible. And try not to make too many trades early on when playing against this attack. So that's it for the four pawn attack. In our next video, we'll be looking at the two pawn attack, which is which is probably the attack that you're going to see most from white in the Alakine's defense. So that video will be up here. We'll see you then. And you have a fantastic rest of your day. Goodbye.